high the mountain here and I'll come into my channel. In our video today we're going to look at how you can actually solve a, pro a problem that has to do with Charles law. So you know we are looking at gas laws. So now what does Charles law state? Charles law states that the volume the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. So now you need to understand what that implies. When two items under comparison are directly proportional, what it is is if one of them increases, the other one increases as well. So that's the the proportionality of the two quantities under consideration. If we were to write an equation on the V is equal to KT, so this one is the constant of proportionality. If we were to make K subject to the formula, say T there, T there, so that this one and that one cancels, then we have K V over T. So now this constant of proportionality is actually the pressure. So this only holds true if pressure is kept constant. So now in a case where well, you've been given the primary volume, primary temperature, and then you're given the secondary volume as well as secondary temperature, then we'll actually end up with an equation V1 over T1, which is equal to V2 over T2. This one is the equation we normally apply most of the times when we're dealing with problems that, are, that have to do with Charles' law. Now, let's look at this problem. What volume would 120 cubic centimeters of a gas at 20 degrees Celsius occupy at 32 degrees if There's something missing here, missing here. If the pressure remains constant. And so what we need to do is we need to collect data where we have V1 then we also look at temperature one then volume two as well as temperature two uh, so volume one has been given as 120 cubic centimeters and then temperature one is actually given as 20 degrees celsius but what you need to know is that temperature has to be in kelvins so you need to convert this into Kelvin. So how do you do that? You make use of the equation. Temperature in Kelvin is given by temperature in Celsius plus 273. So since we need to convert this in Kelvin, we say Tk is equal to temperature in degrees is equal to 20 plus 273. So when you add this, that will actually give us 293 kelvins. So the temperature one is 293 kelvins. So volume two, uh, what, what volume would 120 of gas at? at 32 degrees? So we've been given temperature two, which is 32 degrees Celsius. So you need to convert this into kelvins. So you have to add 273 using the same formula now. So now this one gives us uh, that's uh, 305 kelvins. So volume 2 is what we want, what, what they want us to resolve. So we have those three quantities we are remaining with V2. We employ this equation to resolve the unknown volume. So V1 that's 120 over T1, that is 293, which equates to V2, 
is not known, but T2 is known, which is 305. Let's cross multiply. What we're going to have is 120 times 305. This one, this 120 multiplied by that, then this will be multiplied by that. Which is equal to 293 V2. So now when you multiply 120, 120 times 305, the answer is 36600. That's 36600, which is equal to 293 V2. Our interest is to know V2. So now let me rub out the top part so that you see this clearly. Okay, so what we have here is 36600, which is equal to 293 V2. So we need to divide both sides by 293. 293, so this and that will cancel we have V2. So the question is, how many times does 293 divide in 36,600? So now what we have is 124.91. So volume 2 is equal to 124.91 cubic centimeters. Well, so that's how you have to go about a problem like this one. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is your friend and your class. Don't matter. Stabilized.